The phantom poodle is very special kind of dog, with the intelligence and exuberance of any poodle and a little more besides. When we think of a poodle, we commonly picture a black, curly-coated, long-legged diva of a dog with a hairstyle to die for. This is a bit of a restrictive stereotype given that poodles come in 11 different solid colors in a variety of patterns, of which the phantom poodle is one. Appearance unlike the common or garden variety of poodle, phantom poodles have a specific pattern imprinted onto their solid colored coats. Whereas a party poodle's coat is at least 50% white, a phantom poodle has a single colored coat with bits of a secondary color appearing in specific places. To be a real phantom poodle, a dog must have splashes of color in the following places, above each of his eyes along the sides of his muzzle across his chest along his legs under his tail in other words, he should look like some kind of crazy doberman with a bouffant hairdo. Fans of the phantom refer to these splashes of color as doby markings because of their close resemblance to the standard black with brown tips appearance of the doberman. Phantom poodles have a much more varied color palette than the doberman or the rottweiler and dachshund that also stick to the traditional black and brown combination. Phantom poodles come in almost every color imaginable but can be broken down into four main categories, black chocolate, brown and apricot red, red with apricot tips silver, silver with cream markings while the last three of these are very specific, black phantoms can be almost any color combined with black. You could have a black phantom with apricot tips or one with splashes of cream in all the right places. While black phantoms are, as their name suggests, primarily black, their markings can be almost any of the following shades. Apricot brown cream gray red silver temperament poodles are, by and large, intelligent and elegant dogs. Athletic and easy to train, all sizes of poodle excel at obedience, agility, and tracking events. Despite their aristocratic appearance, poodles are energetic, fun-loving animals who thrive on exercise and attention. Although most people maintain that phantom and party poodles are no different from any other color poodle, enthusiasts argue that the character of the paretic colors was always unique, just that bit more clever, amusing, or intelligent than their solid color littermates. Health is with temperament, there is no real difference between a phantom poodle's health status and that of a back or white poodle. They have similar health concerns, like bloating, which sounds harmless but can be life-threatening, hip dysplasia, epilepsy, thyroid problems, and Addison's disease, which affects the adrenal glands. Unfortunately, as breeders attempt to fulfill the demand by breeding for specific colors or characteristics, so they have turned to inbreeding methods to produce these. This has resulted in a higher level of inbreeding that is desirable or sustainable. Wright's coefficient of inbreeding, COI, gives us the best estimate of just how inbred poodles are, and the standard poodle, with a COI of around 18%, is most definitely inbred as any mammal with a COI of over 6% is inbred. Like all poodles, proper coat care is extremely important to prevent mats, dreadlocks, hot spots and skin infections. You should bathe your phantom poodle every month with a shampoo made specifically for poodles and brush him daily. If you cannot manage the longer coat, keep him in a short cut. Proper nutrition is very important. Feed your poodle a high-quality dry, wet or raw food. Where did phantom poodles come from? Phantom poodles didn't emerge from the mists of time alone, and their origins are the same as any other type of poodle. Although often perceived as a French dog, the poodle originated in Germany where it was known as the puddelin, which means, dripping wet. Bred as a hunting dog, the poodle was a water retriever, splashing through marshes, lakes, and ponds to recover ducks and other waterfowl. It is because of these origins that the poodle gained its remarkable hairstyles. Certain areas of the poodle's body were shaved to help protect his vital organs and joints from the biting cold of constant water retrieval, and lessen the risk of his coat snagging on something underwater. Even the classic poodle topknot with its colorful bow comes from its sporting heritage. It is said to have been used to identify and locate the dog when working in the water. As it was introduced to other parts of Europe, like France and England, the poodle was given a new role, that of truffle hunter. Working alongside a dachshund, the poodle would seek out the valuable truffles that the dachshund would then expertly evacuate. 